famous phrase, which is, hard work beats talent, when talent doesn't work hard. And that applies as much to landscape photography as anything else in life. If you're not up and about, or putting in the work, camping out overnight, doing whatever you need to do to be in the right location at the right time, then no matter how good you are with the camera, no matter how good you're post-processing, the fact remains, you won't get the shot. Well, we have just come past the Angel of the North, and as you can see, the weather is pretty atrocious here on the A1. We are heading northbound to the Northumberland coast and the intention is to go to Bambo where, according to some of the weather sites, it looks like there may be a two or three hour break in the clouds tomorrow and a break in the rain where we can get some great shots. So guys, I don't know what you do to pass the time on these long, long drives when you're out for landscape photography. If you're anything like me, um, you'll either A, have some music on or B, you will sing a medley of classic hits. You're missing home, only know you love her when you let her go. Well, there's always a little bit of a diversion, and it appears that the road that I was going to use to drive down into Bamba is actually closed off. There is a diversion through Lucker, so that's where we're going. Well, guys, we've arrived, and it is very, very misty. I'll be amazed if this clears by the morning and hopefully some of this weather will clear up. Whatever happens, we are going to come away with some images, you know. The tide's going to be, it's going to be a low tide, it's 0 0.6 metres, it's going to have gone out. I'll try and find some repetition in the rocks, try and find some patterns, try and find some nice leading lines. Maybe shoot some mono if we have to, um, but we'll come away with something. The question is, is are we going to come away with what we really want to come away with? Some portfolio class shots. Might not be the case, but let's see what happens. If you don't turn up, you're not going to get the shot regardless. So you have to come and make the effort. Let's hope that the weather forecasters have got this right. And that two or three hour window opens up at sunrise. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. It's counterproductive if you're trying to get some sleep, but... Um, it's been a long drive, a caffeine fix would do me, uh, do me the world of good, I think, and uh, get a little bit of warmth into the system. It's cold out there. So guys, we've got a cup of coffee on the go. I'm just gonna drink this. And then I'm gonna settle down for a few hours sleep. The amount of times that I've come to locations like this, gambling on a weather forecaster's prediction. It's like gamble not to pay off. It's a relatively frequent thing. Well guys, it's about half past six in the morning and uh, first light's not for another hour. Still looking misty. Oh, uh, still looking misty. I've got the camera set up here using this water to the left hand side as a leading line and I've got two different compositions I have one with the castle on the far right hand side and I have one with the castle central now if you can see behind me there's a little mini island in this water here and um, that should give me a portrait orientation using the water all the way through the scene right the way to the castle which I'm going to try and place right towards the top of the composition itself probably somewhere in the region of just above the, uh, the the top line of thirds in a portrait orientation the lights still not completely up yet it's still actually kind of before first light really even though obviously you can see light now 
I'm shooting at about f11 which is giving me sufficient depth of field here so far and at the moment I'm using a two-stop grad just to try and pick out a little bit more foreground light by holding back the sky slightly I've just got a portrait composition set up here with the grad on I'm going to take another quick exposure for the sky and I'm actually going to layer this into two shots as well here so there's two exposures going on first exposure will be for the sky which is there it's actually still slightly bright still slightly bright and then the next exposure which is going to be of around eight seconds Bring that exposure down a touch again. So we'll shoot this one at four seconds. Okay, looking okay, it's looking okay. We can find some more dramatic compositions. Probably still using some of this water to start with, but I am going to have a wander around. As you can see, the tide is really quite far out now. It's at low tide in around 20, 30 minutes time. It's a 0 0.6 meter tide. There's a lot of seaweed about. Um, and we've got to make a decision about where we go to um, to get some decent shots here, whether or not we include more of the sea within the image. Um, it's going to be a little bit precarious. What I've also done is I've just got the drone out. So I'm going to try and get a little bit of drone footage. There's still some mist across the castle. So it's looking very silhouetted when we are um, exposing for the sky. And that's probably a good thing because there won't be much detail in the castle otherwise. There is quite a lot of break in the cloud, but uh, unfortunately not on the horizon. We're still not at sunrise yet. So it's hanging around and waiting and seeing how this develops and just making sure that we've got the best composition in case some really, really intense, beautiful light does come through. So that's what I'm going to do. If you give me five or ten minutes, I'm going to have a little wander around and then I'll come back and I'll catch up with you guys. We're starting to get a little bit of soft light coming into the background just above the castle now. And uh, that's radiating down onto the foreground and illuminating it and balancing the exposure a little bit so we can uh, probably adjust uh, from having to do layered exposures here which we'll blend later. It's a lovely, lovely morning, it really is, it's fantastic. I'm going to pop the drone up for five minutes and there's just enough light really to get a little bit of video. So I'm going to do that now and then once again we'll try and keep working this composition. The composition we came to originally, having a look around this area, is actually probably about the strongest. So I'm going to tweak it and adjust it and play around with it until I get it just how I, uh, how I want it to look. Don't know if you can see this guys, but uh, I've got a lovely sunrise coming behind the castle. There's a lot of cloud. It's enshrouded in mist and I'm taking shots, which I'm bracketing. So. Oh, 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 oh,
are lethal. They're still so slippy. And being a fat bald guy, it's not great to go over in your ass. So let's try and avoid doing that. We've got some great shots from here this morning. We've had the drone up in the air. And uh, although the stills camera on the Phantom 3 Professional is not great, uh, we've still got some nice images from over there. As is often the case with photography, sometimes the first compositions that you actually see end up being the best. And what we've done here is we've worked the compositions that we started with and tried to come up with some different shots, different angles, and tweak them and really drill down. You take the shot and then you look at it and say to yourself, actually that's really not good enough. Can I work it in a different way? And nine times out of 10, you can. And that's what we've done here for a good 15, 20 minutes is keep changing position, adjusting the camera, adjusting the angle, changing the exposure, changing the filters until we've got something that we're quite happy with. sun's obviously well up above the horizon now however as you can see all of that cloud and mist is creating a lot of haze and that's not really ideal there's some lovely soft light on the right hand side here uh, but I can't really see a composition that's going to work because I'd like to try and hide the sun um, there's a decision as to whether or not I have a little walk over there or whether or not I try and shoot some long exposures looking out to see as the light levels have come up quite a bit now maybe use something like the Lee Super Stopper pack the drone away and I think I'm gonna have a little wonder over there and see what we can uh, see what we can find still plenty of soft light coming on to the right hand side of these reeds and these rocks I've shot some rock shots now I'm gonna move into this grass and see if I can get a little bit of this texture and movement within the grass and uh, shoot this little hut again which I've used in a couple of compositions here I'm going to bring that in into the foreground a little bit more so it fills up the scene a little bit more and uh, try and get the castle as a backdrop I might even shoot a few at really shallow depth of field really focus on the hut and let the castle get a little bit blurred out into the background uh, just playing around with ideas at the moment I've not got a huge amount of time left here so I'm going to have to hurry up see you shortly Right guys, I think I've got a possible shot here using the 2470 Now I've taken the first series of shots in landscape orientation just to see what it looks like The next are going to be in a portrait orientation That's actually a little bit bright, so we're going to have to do an exposure blend. So I've taken four different exposures. I'm going to move around a little bit here and see if I can find a composition that works a little bit better than the one that I've got. I think I'd like to try and get more of the front of this hut, which is catching a lot of the light into the shot now. have got some great shots from today the question is could we have got some better images I think we probably could and the reason behind that is is that we we're trying to do two things at once and that was fly the drone and also take some stills images and you end up distracted I focused on the drone shots today and getting some video and I think I've got some great stuff can't wait to see that back at the studio um, but at the end of the day it takes your focus off the stills photography a little bit so we could have probably worked those compositions a little bit harder at the end of the day we didn't we should still have some good images can't wait to see those either um, got a busy day ahead of me today I've got lots of meetings and I really need to get away got meetings this afternoon that I need to try and uh, prepare for that said we've still got some great light here I'm going to try and squeeze a bit more time I desperately need an injection of caffeine so it's back to the car going to get the uh, the brew on make a quick cup of coffee and then we're going to decide from there you cannot operate photography without a good injection of caffeine in the morning 
every photog photographer knows that. You really need to be caffeined up if you want to get the best images. I'll see you guys shortly. Guys, it's been an awesome morning of photography. We've got some amazing images. I'm not quite sure what the highlight of today is. Could be the coffee. Joking aside, could be the coffee. Caffeine's feeling like it's rushing around my system this morning. I feel like I'm on fire. And part of that is because I think we've got some great drone footage as well. So the video looks really good. I've downloaded some stills images from the drone as well onto the phone and they also look excellent. So I can't wait to play around with those and also play around and color grade some of the footage in Premiere Pro. If you guys are thinking of buying a drone, then the Phantom 3 standards are now very, very cheap for what they are. You can have them for around 500 pounds and it's definitely worthwhile. It gives you shots that you can't get in any other way. It's a great introduction into drone flying. I'll be doing some more drone videos um, actually shortly and talking through what other options you've got if your budgets are a little bit higher. In terms of the stills photography that we got today, the light wasn't as good as it was last week. On the day that I was meant to come, I didn't come. I was up doing some work until the early hours. I didn't make it. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, no matter how good you are, if you don't turn up, you won't get the shot. It's that simple. And I saw some shots from one or two of the photographers that were here on that morning, and the shots were amazing. They got some fantastic images. The sunrise was phenomenal. The intensity of light was beautiful, beautiful. Gutted, gutted that I didn't come on that day. But that's photography, you have to be here. So we still got some nice shots. Are they top grade portfolio shots? Probably not, um, but once again, there should be some interesting stuff there, and obviously you'll see those within this video. Keep watching, don't forget to subscribe into this. There's a link on screen now, and you can also see within the main YouTube subscribe page on my channel. Make sure that you add me on Instagram and also on um, Snapchat. I use them in different ways, and I'm always putting lots of quick tips and content on there. I'm on as Dan Pearson Photo. You can also find me on Twitter. I like to make sure that I'm also creating content pretty much every day in some way, shape, or form. Let me know what you've enjoyed, give me some feedback, it's good to hear from you, and uh, I'll see you guys again shortly. In my burst again. A lot of people say I sound like Adele. Some of those people have got hearing issues. A few people say I look like Adele. And on a Thursday, I sometimes do.